Shalom, we are in Parasha Shimini. That means eight. Number eight means new beginnings or the start of something new. And in our context, it's a start of the system, which is a sacrificial system that is facilitated by the priesthood inside the tabernacle. So you need those three things, just like you need the menorah, the oil in the menorah, the wicks, in order to have the flame. So it's a, one thing is dependent on the, on the other, and without that there will be no light, and without um, the priesthood, the tabernacle, and the sacrificial system, there won't be any salvation or restoration. So I received a comment this week um, on one of the videos I posted and the question was regarding salvation now what I think is that a lot of people don't really understand the fullness of what salvation is so if you ask the question plainly what is salvation the answer is clear Yahweh is salvation which is a name which is Yahushua which consists of the word Yah, which is short form of Yahweh, and Shua, or Yasa, that means to save, and that word to save also means to heal. Now the reason I want to bring in the healing aspect is that part of our Torah portion, the notes that I prepared this morning, which I'm not going to discuss today, has to do with healing, which is the outcome of the process that is associated with the Ola offering that connects you with fire. Now just a quick little background there. You sure talk about you cannot be safe unless you are baptized by water and by fire. I'm going to look at the baptism of fire in this Torah portion and what that actually means. So the fire concept connects to the Ola offering the burnt offering which is also known as the elevation offering and there we see the connection you need to be elevated in order um, to get the full access to the elevation component of whatever state you're in and after you are elevated that is the state of salvation so salvation is more than just I'm saved I prayed a prayer I went to front of the pulpit whatever they call it I had an altar call I had the sinner's prayer and I wrote that date in my Bible so since that date I've been saved now you are in the process of salvation you are currently being saved and the state of your salvation we're currently at need to be guarded and protected so that you can ultimately be saved and ultimately be saved is to come to the end of of what the purpose of Mashiach is and his name is Yahweh's salvation so if he embodies the name of salvation a lot of people uh, mistakenly uh, read into that that if I know his name and I call upon his name I am saved but you need to understand what the purpose of the name is you, the name is the character and the calling or the function that's associated with the name or the purpose now Yeshua's name Yahweh's salvation is part of his character which is basically Yahweh Yahweh's standards because he is the one who wants to save you and use the mediator Yeshua the Mashiach to fulfill that function in order to for people to be saved now we could repeatedly talk about the festivals as being the work of Mashiach and that is also the goal of Mashiach and the purpose of Mashiach to come and do the work that is the layer in between the physical and the spiritual so he's doing <coughs> spiritual work in the physical realm it's like extending your arm into a path of water so the medium of air is a higher medium that's where you kneel down next to the bath and you stick your arm into the water which is a lower medium more denser medium and you can do work within the water in order to bring whatever's in the water out to where you are 
They're in the same place. The spiritual realm is the realm of the air. And we are currently in the realm of water. And why do I say that? Because we consist of 70% water. That's just a little hint. And everything that sustains life in this current state that we're in, um, which is the fallen uh, Garden of Eden state, or the state that exists outside of the garden, that is the lower medium of water, this, the, the carbon state. And Yahweh is in the higher medium, the medium of light. And we need to be transposed and elevated through the Ola offering, which has to do with the fire from the lower medium into the higher medium. And that's also true for water. How do I translate water in the lower medium to the medium of, of air? You add fire. And then you boil the water. The water turns to steam. And the steam now is in a higher medium. So in the same way, fire is the process that is required. Let's call it the spiritual energy required to translate anything that pertains to life in the physical into the spiritual so you need to be you need to come in contact with fire now we know in the body it's impossible because you will be f dead so this fire is a spiritual fire that is symbolized by the sacrificial system and what all of that is about so that's just a bit of background so what is salvation salvation is interacting or the process of salvation is interacting with the work of Mashiach as expressed through his seven Moedim and if you interact with the work of Mashiach those things will translate you because every one of them had sacrifices every one of them had the symbolism of the spiritual fire translating this physical animal which is a picture of you you should have been uh, uh, on the altar but now the animal is dying in your place and ultimately Mashiach fulfilled that and he died in your place so Yahweh through his grace <clears throat> allow you to learn from the processes of the sacrificial system which is needed to translate things back to the spiritual but you now stand on the side watching this process taking place and he uses something in your place and that's something in the first instance were, were animals and in the fulfillment of that was Mashiach so the ultimate work of Mashiach is to become and embody all the sacrifices and all the symbolism of every single animal that had to be sacrificed to fulfill every single part of the restoration process so that you can be elevated and receive that Ula offering. Now I'm going to spend some time on the Ula offering a bit more, but that's basically where you become a living sacrifice. And you, through your own free will, need to engage with the fire, which is a spiritual fire, so that you can be translated. So there's some symbolism that I'm going to discuss this coming Saturday to reveal those things in relation to this. So salvation is a person, the person has a function. The function only has meaning when you interact with a function because the work of Mashiach is doing work within you and if you only know the name and you sit passively he won't do any work in you you need to interact with him and that brings us to the other aspect of who Yeshua is he is the living Torah not only you need to interact with his Moedim which uh, uh, picture of the work of Mashiach through the sacrificial system and all the symbolism and things associated with that but also he is the living Torah you need to interact with the living Torah and that's why this Torah portion contains the two middle words which is the Rosh Tarash certainly search and that is your interaction with Mashiach as the living Torah and if you don't do that you won't be elevated as easy as that because Yahweh only gave the Mashiach and his word into the physical realm for us to uh, receive his grace. So those are the two things he gave us. And they're all embodied through the symbolism of what Mashiach's work is all about. And we need to grab onto him. We need to grab onto his teachings. We need to learn about everything about him. And his character is fully explained in the Torah and everything 
he um, is about is contained within all the storylines, all the symbolism, all the patterns, and all the pictures, including the tabernacle, sacrificial system, the priesthood, and even the storyline starting from Abraham and even going back to creation. So everything in the first five books of the Bible is the character of Yeshua, which is the character of Yahweh. If you read the motives behind his actions and try and glean the wisdom of his thinking and why he allowed these things, because everything he's doing is with a purpose, and the purpose is Yeshua, salvation, Yahweh's salvation, and it's about you being saved. So let's talk about salvation as a place. So that's salvation as a purpose, Ach, as a person. Salvation as a place means you can only say that you are saved if you are in the realm where salvation is fulfilled. And that is the picture of the promised land. And the promised land is a physical location that um, Israel entered practically and when they entered the land that was basically the symbolism of salvation and that is also the symbolism of entering the kingdom where they built a permanent house and if you could enter into the presence of Yahweh then you are in the same space or location where he is and you experience the benefits of salvation which is his presence but people say oh i can experience the presence of yahweh now yeah but you're still in the fallen state which brings me to the next part of salvation to be saved specifically in greek is um, translated either as saved or healed so what are we healed from and this we're also going to discuss on saturday you are healed from a sickness and this sickness is called leprosy and leprosy is a state that you are born in it's a state of uncleanness and we need to go through processes of cleansing in order to be cleansed and if you are cleansed that is called to be holy and if you are holy then you can stand before Yahweh the consuming fire without being consumed and that is the reason for healing so when Yeshua saves someone sometimes he just healed them and the symbolism of that is to deal with our fallen nature the leprous state that we need to get healing from so ask yourself the question am I healed at this point in time fully healed from my leprous state or my fleshly nature of course not not even Paul uh, could say that he said the things that I don't want to do I do the things I do want to do I do not do because the old man is in battle with the new man and that conflict exists in every single one of us while we exist in this physical realm that's why you need a renewed body so you won't have the desires of the flesh anymore so you'll be translated to a higher form of existence where there will be less um, issues regarding the flesh because our main motive in this life if you think about it is we on a survival course we out here just to survive you get a job to survive so you can sustain your family so you can have something so you don't die so it's all about survival but when you're in a translated higher level state there's no none of that anymore Yahweh will look after you supernaturally and you don't have to have this survival mode that consume your whole body and your whole being and your whole thinking and your whole drive in life you don't have those temptations and when you overstep the drive for those temptations it brings you into um, the sense of desire gluttony and all those other things because now you want to consume more store up more so you can feel more safe and that is a false um, sense of salvation so Salvation is a person, salvation is a place, and salvation is an elevated state where you are healed from your fleshly desires and the bondage associated with that, which is associated with Amalek, which we discussed previously, which will never ever go away in this life. You will have to raise the standard of Yahweh to win the battle against Amalek, to win the battle against the old man or the flesh, and none of us are freed from that. 
that's why you are not fully saved yet you need to tick those three boxes and this last one is the most difficult one and you will have that constant battle um, moving on and in saying all of that the statement that people say once saved always saved I'll pray the prayer and blah 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 so I will never you know go astray that's not true if you look at the pattern the original Israel traveled for 40 years through the wilderness until they all died out because of unbelief and the new generation entered so that's the old man new man symbolism as well so yes you can backslide and yes you can fall away and yes you you can um, not enter the kingdom unless you sustain that and that's confirmed what's in the scriptures it says he will blot out your name from the book of life so that means that your name was written in the book of life and it's now going to be blotted out so it will be erased or scratched through or whatever so that's an indication that we need to work out our salvation with fear and trembling it's not just a once off done deal and then it's always problem to save me I'm a sinner I can do what I want and it's his job to save me because he's the savior and that's a very empty loose ignorant statement that um, is embedded within a lot of new uh, modern doctrines today so don't be foolish don't believe that so that brings me to the end of my little uh, rant on what salvation is i hope it helped you guys and i will speak to you soon shalom